On the wish list of every Bangalorean is infrastructure. While citizens are pushing the government for improvement, the outer areas of the city like Hoskote and Kanakpura may see some respite soon. The city in charge minister K.J. George recently announced the revival of the Satellite Town Ring Road project that will connect all the satellite towns of Bengaluru. Lakshmi Sivadas traces the potential real estate transformation of such a project. The hum of manufacturing units will greet you when you enter the villages of Vidadi or Magadi in Karnataka. An hour's drive away from Bengaluru, these two industrial towns are the other face of tech capital Karnataka. Towns not usually on home buyers' lists, but one they can consider soon, courtesy the Karnataka government, who have revived the idea of a satellite town ring road project. The government is again reinitiating the program of ensuring to decongest the city and to grow in the peripheral areas of the city. These are connecting some of the largest industrial belts around Bangalore. It's huge impact from that perspective. Automatically, if there is an industry growing in these satellite areas, then automatically there's demand for retail, residential, and other aspects of real estate. The Satellite Town Ring Road project is a 380 odd kilometers long four lane road that will connect eight of Karnataka's satellite towns or industrial centers. It will connect those industrial towns on the outskirts of Bengaluru to the city via state or national highways. Towns that it will connect include Magadi, Kanakpura, Ramnagara and Dordabalapur. With the development of the ring road, experts expect these towns to resemble mini Navi Mumbai's. People like to move into these places. The reason, only problem the, uh, the people face is the travel time. The travel, uh, the connectivity is very, very poor. This is something which we got to see in uh, Mumbai when Navi Mumbai was formed in 1972. You see uh, the changes. Uh, it's itself. It's itself a city by itself now. There's so many, so much of development there. It has also helped uh, Mumbai to decongest a little. Homes in these towns are priced anywhere between 2,500 rupees a square foot to 5,300 rupees a square foot, depending on location. However, not all areas provide apartment options. Top developers like Mantri and Provident Housing have projects in Atibele and Kanakpura Road. In areas like Bidadi, however, plotted developments are more common. Now, the big question is: Will the government be able to fulfil its promise 10 years after the project was originally proposed, and after the costs have increased by at least three times? From Bengaluru, Lakshmi Shivdas for NDTV.